First, I want to thank you all for the variety of suggestions on how to get this loose. I'm going to take a try at that today. I sprayed it with the croil. We'll see if it's loosened up enough. Um, again, really appreciate the suggestions. I brought a variety of tools out with me. Wasn't sure exactly what size this nut is to loosen it up. So you can see this nut moves freely. So we'll just rotate it up out of the way. And that should give us plenty of space to work on this part. We'll use the pipe wrench. And it looks like it's moving. Yes. Look at that. It's getting easier with each turn. Perfect. I'm going to lift this up. We'll see where it needs to be to be level. Getting these leveled out probably uh, makes it a lot easier for me to now consider a quick hitch. And if you've got suggestions on which ones I should be looking at, I'd appreciate that. I've seen good things about the Speedco, I believe because it doesn't require extra bushings or sleeve adapters. So um, considering that one, but uh, absolutely if you have suggestions, thank you all for the suggestions on how to get this loosened up. 
that turns much more freely now I can turn it by hand uh, so we'll run this this nut down against it to hold it in place but I think we're pretty close to level and if we're not I can level it out as we need to so once again thank you uh, thank you to all those of you who have subscribed if you haven't subscribed we really appreciate it if you click that subscribe button if you like videos about tractors and chainsaws and cutting firewood and mowing zero turn mowers um, that's the kind of thing we do here on our property and uh, we'd appreciate it if you'd follow us along on the journey